Hey, welcome back to another painting session. I'm redoing another painting themed after an element on the periodic table. Last one was bromine, or bromine, however you want to pronounce it, whichever is the right way. But if you want to see that one, I think I did pretty good on that painting, then do make sure to watch that as it would be my first element on the periodic table, anyways, based painting. But this will be the second. This one, as you can see, will be themed after the element copper. Now, I wanted to use some metallic paint for some time. The last time I used bronze, or this color, this, I'll move it up so you can see the shine. Last time I used this was, I forgot what I called it. Maybe I think I called it bronze path or something. I think I used a bit too much bronze. Um, so this one will be used in a much more careful manner. I'll be using it for tints and for highlights and for a little bit on the celestial bodies, the planets, a little bit in the stars, some other, um, some other stars will be just tan. Um, comments won't be bronze, they'll just be normal light tan. Um, the buttes will have a little bit of bronze and butte into them along with big butte face to the right here along with a little bit in the mountains but uh, other than bronze the color scheme will be brown to gr um, brown to orange I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of yellows in here I don't think I will it will just be bright orange will be the most and tan will this off-white will probably be the lightest color here. Uh, there will be a winding path. Moving around some buttes from the sun that's going to be in the middle center here. Picking through the rugged mountain. The mountains will have a similar texture to the last painting. Again, another incentive to watch the last video. As it will, uh, that video showcased a new style of making mountains that is a bit more dynamic and um, realistic in a mountain's ruggedness. So I'll be using that again. Um, there will be like six or so buttes excluding the butte face to the right. Because as you can see here, there's going to be a huge wall on the right side that's going to cover the entirety of it, the entirety of this side. <clears throat> So there's going to be like about six of them. Only one of them will be in front of the path. Like this one up. There will be shadows. I'm hoping I will do that well. Part of me wanted to showcase how, uh, how copper ages, it turns green. Um, same thing with uh, some other things. It just gets oxidized and it becomes green. A similar reason why the Statue of Liberty in New York City is green now. It used to be very orange, but now it oxidized or it rusted. So now it looks like that. I wanted to instill that into this painting, <clears throat> but I don't really know how to do it in a good way without just making like green shrubs and whatnot, like I did with um, the painting. It would have been like four paintings ago, wasn't it? It, had, it featured a mission and gate, and it was based on aloe vera. And the plants there would be similar to the plants I'll be using here. And it would showcase how copper oxidized and turns that exact green that I used. Though, uh, fitting with the mesa biome I'm trying to instill on this painting, I don't think it's gonna work all that well. I'd rather it just be more barren. So I'm not gonna have a lot of plants here. If I do change my mind, you'll just see them here on this cliff edge. There won't be much other stuff besides that. And that's it. Yeah. If you like this video, of course, like the video. If, uh, if you have any questions about this video, of course, just comment it. Uh, any criticisms or compliments, both are welcome. Do please excuse the beeping in the back. I hope that is not too um, drowning out for you. And well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna start the panning now so I can get rid of this beeping noise. See you later. Thank you.
this is the finished product. I am very proud of how this painting turned out. I just need to give it some time and effort and some good painting layout design. And it all came out just fine. There's only a few issues that I'll point out a little bit. But other than those small little nitpicks, it's pretty good. You could have some more textures in it, sure, but with glaring issues, there's barely any of them. There's a few on this line, as you can see, a few blemishes. <clears throat> that doesn't make it a perfect seam. This comet is out of angle to the others. Um, this could do a bit more copper work with how the metal is laid out. I even had mountains in such a way where they look far away. I tinted up the mountains where they got bolder and bolder the more you got closer to them. So I think that was a nice touch. A little bit similar thing with the little buttes here. And talking about the buttes, I think I did a pretty good job with them. My uh, first time doing something like this. And I think I did a good job, especially implementing the copper in there and even the shadows as well, especially with this one. This shadow and this shadow is pretty good. Replicates what's actually there. And the planets is especially good. It's the theme perfectly. Uh, the color, the tints, I really like how I got shiny and um, brighter here. I actually took an account in those things, which I usually don't. Same here. All in all, it's a very, very good piece. One of my best, I would say. This is the sketch. Themed after the element copper. Of course, I couldn't fit the big butte face as I still want in to incorporate this butte over here and the sketch was a bit too a bit too wide for that. I couldn't really implement it. So there's gonna be a few differences here. But all in all I think I did a very good job. Very proud of myself. As I should be when I make a good painting. I think this will lay a good groundwork for other paintings to come, for the shading, for detailing, uh, for the lighting, what have you, even for, for the mountains, everything. Really proud. I like it. It's rare when I get to see that, but hopefully you all like it as much as I do. If you do, then comment what you like about it, comment what you don't like about it, like the video itself, dislike it if you don't. And if you like what I do, spray painting videos with just spray paint, no acrylic, no oil, no ganache, no watercolor, subscribe to the channel to see more. As I believe my type of stuff is quite unique, there's a few other people out there I've named in other videos, but I think I've, I do a good spin on these things. And um, I'll let y'all see another look at the sketch and what I might do after the one that was supposed to be scheduled uh, like a month ago when I first got this around the sketch. This is a new one. This is an older one. I will not be doing this one. This one blows. I don't like it. It's based on chromium. So I'm gonna turn to one that's actually good. That is not a waste of my time. 
it will be based on the elements of calcium. Of course, I'll probably do uh, paintings in between these, like tutorials, do the eventual floral painting based on the devil's matchstick uh, fungus, but maybe one day. I'm taking a few breaks now. I've done enough of that series to warrant some time off from it. But if I do decide to do another element themed painting, it would be of this. Calcium. It's going to be some very white and gray rocks with some fountains, you could call them. Very strange uh, formations. And I think it'll fit this. I do plan to have more uh, very alien formations here. This just reminded me of a fountain, and there, there's two ways I could have done the calcium one. I'll say it now, so uh, because I'll probably forget later on, because there are calcium deposits where they have little fountains. Uh, you could say like um, little levels and elevations of. fields where they have the steps it's like that but with calcium crystals and water deposited on those little ponds there um, it's either I do that which uh, I don't think I could do very well or I do a fountain another type of fountain something very very alien and this is what I chose something like this a very obtuse type shape but I think I'll do very good on it I'll show you another look into the one I might do after that and it would be this based on cobalt yeah very elevated and the last one I'll show you before I close off based on fluoride yeah that's it for the foreseeable future for possible paintings if you have enjoyed this video anyhow do, of course take some time out of your day to like the video comment what you like what you don't like both of which comments uh, compliments and criticisms both help me to become a better painter and video maker for these paintings and if you like what I do again don't um, feel shy to subscribe to the channel if you do like what I do as you will be notified of all my recent uploads which usually happen every day with main videos tutorials shorts what have you Everything you can think of in my line of expertise, I suppose, would be there. And with that out of the way, I hope that all of you have enjoyed tonight's painting session. And until next time, bye-bye.